For one of Hanjin Shipping's vessels at its home port of Busan, it almost looks like business as usual. The Hanjin Budapest is being loaded for Japan, but this is one of just a few remaining voyages for the fleet, contracted before the company went into receivership. The Hanjin port is more than three quarters full. The containers can't be loaded onto some 30 nearby ships because they aren't allowed to sail. The captain of the Hanjin Rome, Moon Kwon Do, is just back home after nearly a month in detention in the waters of Singapore. Actually, I was not a hostage, but every stakeholder or concern party deal with me as a hostage. Nineteen of his crewmates are still stranded on board the aging ship. He says the company's rehabilitation plan will put 90% of its staff out of a job. They should negotiate with the Korean court or KDB, I mean the Korean Development Bank, to save their step. The head of the Hanjin Group was questioned by politicians this week for putting up only a fifth of his personal wealth to help pay outstanding bills. The government decided not to bail out the country's biggest shipper. He blamed subsidized global giants for driving it out of business. We used a $900 billion fund for restructuring, but we were no match for the major shipping company's low-price offensive. Hanjin Shipping is at the center of this crisis, but it's far from the only company affected. The maritime industry in this part of South Korea is a vital part of the economy. When it struggles, so do plenty of other businesses. One analysis suggests 30% of Busan's economy relies on maritime trade. Ho Sung Uk's business certainly does. His staff maintain and repair refrigerated containers. Hanjin accounted for 80% of their work. He says he's already had to lay off 10 staff. Even at the height of the financial crisis, no one was sacked. We managed to keep going by saving on things like fuel. But now we are seeing a sudden drop in work, which never happened before. South Korea's Maritime Institute has laid out two scenarios. The first would see Hanjin's smaller rival, Hyundai Merchant Marine, buy its biggest ships and take over some of its routes. But HMM is itself facing a $4.5 billion debt. The other scenario, the full-scale liquidation of Hanjin shipping with the loss of 11,000 jobs. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Busan, South Korea.